Her boyfriend liked IG model's picture, so she got surgery to look like her. He left her, and now she regrets it. That is a very long title, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. But this is a video about ABBA and Preach. I have a whole lot to say. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. If your boyfriend likes photos and videos of girls with huge butts on the internet, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Michaela. I have a fat butt. And I will happily block your boyfriend if you ask me. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to tell you I didn't hear what she story. said. What did she say? Block your boyfriend if you ask me. But you that's not- block my what? I have a fat butt. And I will happily block your boyfriend if you ask me. You happily block my boyfriend if you ask me? Ask you what? Did she have a big bottom? What? Anyway. Why I'm here is to tell you the story of how I got like this. Because I'm just like you. By the way, I have clay all over me. But my ex-boyfriend would like photos of Jeanette Guzman, the Instagram model. I think he actually only liked like five photos total. But when I discovered this, and we had just started dating, when I discovered this, I would cry every night. I would devalue myself. I have BPD, by the way. I would devalue myself. I am not good enough. I am not a good enough person because I don't have a fat butt. And I don't have every single surgery that Jeanette Guzman has, so I'm not good enough. And this went on for a long time. I was very insecure and I became very, very sad and I just hated who I was. I hated myself. So what did I do? I tried everything in the books. I tried everything I possibly could do to look like Jeanette Guzman. And I think I've done a pretty good job. I think I did a decent job. But now, now am i the only one that finds this very unattractive like uh, i'm i guess like because i'm like saved and everything like girls that have like big anything i'm just i just i don't find that attractive at all bro like i'm probably in the minority very like big minority here because i do not like girls with big mangoes or big bottoms like that's just so like i don't know it's just too big for me it's like seeing just b two big fruits in my face i just don't like it in my face i feel like it's just photoshopped you know what I mean? Like, I just I just can't deal with it. it just look, everything looks fake to me. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Even if it's natural, it's just something that I just, I can't. I'm not attracted to it. It, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make me feel any good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, ugh, bro, I don't know. It's not an attractive for me, so especially physically. It doesn't attract me at all. You know, when I was in the world and I used to, like, you know, look at girls lustfully, that, it didn't, even when I was looking at girls lustfully, like, it wasn't, I still didn't like it like that. Like, I did, but, like, it wasn't, like, how other guys like it, you know what I mean? Now, I really, like, now it's really bad. Like, I really do not like girls with big mangoes or, like, big bottoms or anything like that. Like, that really is just unattractive to me, like, honest to God. You know, yeah. Even if she's Christian and she has that, like, she's not, like, you know, showing off her body, doing OnlyFans activities and all that. I still, like, have no attract. Like, I'm just, it's just unattractive to me, like. And like I said, if it's natural, you know, I still don't find a dragon to it. That's just me, though. You know, other people might think I'm tripping. And, like, when I tell girls, it's like, you're lying, you're lying. I'm like, I'm so serious, bro. Like, the girl's not attractive. Like, I don't like her body. I don't like hourglass shapes. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. That's me, though. Dude is gone. And apparently, his type is completely freaking different to anything I am. So I did all this for nothing. You're telling me I got surgery that I can't reverse. Just for the man to go have a different type. No, that's on you. That's on you. Exactly. Let me tell you a little something. Your ex-boyfriend was looking at pictures and liking pictures of who with a big butt. Cool. You decided to look at that. It's like if I was looking at my girl's prawn history and she likes dude with humongous I'm talking about 12, 15. I don't have a 12, 15 inch. I don't. I absolutely don't. And then I proceed to, no, man, that's a fantasy. If the person's with you and he likes other things, it doesn't mean that it's exactly that. What, what was it? That's her. That's the girl that she was looking at. Jeanette Guzman. You can imagine your uh, Instagram. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, it's just, you doing all those changes is not, you doing all those changes to, to pleasure your mm -hmm. boy is not on your boy. It's on you. Yep. It's, it's on you. And you have to understand, there is many fish in the sea. That is not the only man in the world. So you literally waste your time just for him to end up leaving you. You did all of that. He, he liking girls' pictures or whatever, which is already a controversial thing to do in the first place. Liking big booty girls on instagram and all this other stuff liking their pictures favoring it all that type of stuff saving it and all that and you seeing that it's already a red flag don't know why you didn't 
talked to him about you probably did talk to him about it or whatever and then he was like oh it's not that big of a deal whatever and then you you, you just didn't take that as a red flag or something unless he was psychologically in shot if you're psychologically in shot you you get a pass sort of you get a you get a slight pass girls get a pass for this because they are in shop. that's like a psychological thing like psychological entrapment that's a thing i learned in psychology like that's an actual thing so like if you're if you're in shop in that way then okay you get a, you get a pass you get a pass you get a metric card pass you feel me but if you're not in that you have every type of you know uh brain process to know what's going on you know you're not psychologically entrapped you know the red flags and everything and you still persist to be with that man even though you know that there's many men that will treat you better and not do that weird stuff he was doing that's on you bro <laughs> you did that surgery for no reason you can't in reverse of it now you got mad men lusting off of you because of your body because you want to be you wanted to please one man and you wanted to be insecure because that man made you insecure you probably was insecure before but you went with this guy and he made you even more insecure Nothing wrong with being insecure. Everybody has insecurities. But the fact that this guy you was with made you more insecure by liking IG girls pictures that have a quote-unquote better body than you is crazy. And you stay with him and you did the surgery just for him to get the milk and dip. Hell. You can't make this stuff up, bro. You can't make it up, bro. Okay. Him liking those pictures while he's going out with you. Oh, it with your self esteem and stuff like that, I can understand that. But it's let's just, let's just say it loud and listen to yourself when you say it. Self esteem, it's yours. It's yours. It's your self esteem. All right. If he likes those pictures and that's a fetish or that's a fantasy, it stays a fantasy. All right. It doesn't mean that that's what he wants or whatever. That's exactly what he craved. No, he likes the picture. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying my girl doesn't want me to become a vampire? No. Okay. So how do you guys? No, so actually... I guess he's alluding to like if he likes a girl's picture, if it's IG model or whatever. How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys think that like if you're in a relationship, right? Let's say if any of you guys watch this, we're in a relationship, right? And you're you're supposed you're a significant other uh, likes people that are I guess more attractive, have a better body, quote unquote better body. Than the person you're with or whatever has a good physique, whatever. Do you think that's okay? Are you guys are you guys okay with that? You get what I'm saying? Are you guys okay with that? Now, there was something that Tyrone Magnus said in his video where somebody, some fan, I don't even know, he's not a fan, he's a weirdo actually. A person that was they watched Tyrone Magnus, right? They watched this YouTuber, right? And the YouTuber had a girl. If you guys know um, that's why I'm saying YouTuber, because I don't know if you guys know who Tyrone Magnus is. So this YouTuber had a girl, right? And the person that was a quote unquote fan, weirdo, texted his girl and was like, yo, this YouTuber is liking these girls' pictures or whatever. And the YouTuber was like, bro, why are you, first of all, why are you hawking me? You're watching me with your every move. You have nothing else better to do. You have binoculars on watching my every move. What's wrong with you? What's actually wrong with you? But regardless of that, he, he, he explained that like, the reason why he was doing that was because he, was going off the basis of what the girls were wearing you know what i mean like he would he would like the girls pictures and he would follow models because he would want to he would want to see like what outfits will look good on his girl you know what i'm saying he would like to see like what things will look good on her what outfits what dresses what type of thing that's why he followed her you know followed those models he didn't follow them because he has some fetish or because he just wants to just like them because you know awful lust or anything he generally did it because he wanted to see what outfits will look good on his girl you know what i mean it wasn't because, oh, their body type or because they got big bottoms and big mangoes and all that. It was mainly because he wanted to see what outfits look would look good on his girl based on what the models wore. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. I wouldn't do it personally because I know how girls are. I know if I sit up there and me, I, I can't even follow no models because they're provocative. All of them show their booties and all that other stuff. Now, there are some models that don't be doing that. Sometimes they just be doing it, you know, because they're a model or whatever. But like me personally, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not following no model because they are very provocative and I'm, that's gonna go back into my old self of being lustful and I don't want to go into that so I'm not doing it. But do you guys care? Do you not care? It depends. Let me know. What I, I'm, I'm saying, yep. So all yeah. those girls who were like getting super wet over the Vampire Diaries or Twilight, don't I wasn't act. supposed to change into looking like them. Did you? I'm just wondering. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. That, that's why I'm. It's liking, it's it's a fantasy. Yep. The same way some of you women, 
even though you're super feminist, fantasize about a whole bunch of shit that are not so feminist when you're in the sheets. True. And that's fine. It doesn't mean that's what you want in real life. True. It stays in the realm of fantasy. Doesn't mean I don't have to not like it. There's fan fiction of whatever, what not. That doesn't mean it has to happen. True. So for you to take that and change your whole body and that that your, your, your ex is gone and then he likes something different and you still blaming for that, mental health. Whoa. I don't think it's that abnormal. <clears throat> I think um, we can probably see like beauty standards changing. And if you have insecurities in yourself already off the top, and you yeah. see your boyfriend is looking at those kinds of women and you're uncertain and you're insecure, stands to the reason that you might think he wants someone like that. Yeah, but Why if, do your women feel that way? If, if yeah. you look, if I t you take the girls that you, if you look at the guys that your girl like, we would not be happy any. Do I look like Brad Pitt? Do you know what I would have to do and endure to fucking remotely look like Brad Pitt? I can't do that. I'm not gonna change. If I see my girl liking a picture of Brad Pitt, I can't be like, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna be Brad Pitt and change my hair blonde. And that's f yeah, but yeah, that's OD. Okay, here's an example. But dude got a small and you get with a girl. She's like, no, small are fine, but she's looking at dicks. Yeah, the dude's probably gonna be terribly insecure. Probably if they, and I know plenty of dudes, if they could, they would change it in a heartbeat. I can understand that. You know, so those whole ideas and insecurities, and then going for what you think your partner actually wants based off what they like online, is it far fetched? But if, if I understand that, but if you go for it, you can't blame. You took the decision. I have a hard time blaming the other person for like, yeah, I just. I, I agree with you. I did. I did this whole dick thing for you. No, you wanted a dick. You wanted a. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if she's actually blaming him. I think she's just saying, you know, like, oh, so you changed. So, like, this whole thing, what was the point of it? I don't think she actually blamed him. If she's saying, now this guy has a totally, I'm not with this guy, and uh, is, he has a totally different uh, uh, type, so I did all this for nothing. Huh, that's yeah, you're kind of blaming, that blame, that's you somehow, some way blaming him for some things. But anyway, this is, this is completely irreversible so the more weight i gain the fatter my butt gets and there's nothing i can do to stop it it is just constantly growing <sighs> and today i was getting bubble tea alicia would you want to tell them the story i was getting bubble tea today and some lady on drug uh came up to me and was like so you like the way you look this is why young girls blah 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 blah, blah and just gave me the fat and i just burst into tears i bursted into tears because i was i was that young girl okay and i became this and this is not what I want to advertise to anyone. It's gonna be, so, be so controversial, but people that do this to themselves are mentally ill. So if we don't, if we say we don't, we're lying. Obviously not for everyone. But if you're in that boat, you know what boat I'm talking about. Cancel that surgery. Because one, the trend's gonna be gone in a few years. Two, it hurts, it's very painful and costs a lot of money. And three, you will regret it because that man is going to be gone. And then you'll be stuck with a freaking dump truck that you can't get rid of and get screamed at on the street by old ladies on... Yeah, I don't think she's nearly blaming him nearly as much. She's not she... only blaming him. Yeah, you're right. No, uh, it didn't sound like she's... My she, bad. She's being like... I think what she's venting is like, I did this for somebody and then he went off and changed his type. Like, what was the point of everything I did? Maybe he didn't change his type. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But I think what she's basically saying is she put a lot of pressure on herself and basically her insecurities came out that she made decisions that were really stupid and then she said I, hey, you're mentally ill like you got a sickness if you're gonna do all of this for a for, for, for so, dude so who you have you're not even married or anything you're just gonna change everything up the the, the look, end look, look i said this i said this before in a video there is good insecurity and then there's bad insecurity that girl right there was a prime example of a prime exquisite excellent example of when bad insecurity gets to you bad insecurity gets to you going into surgery going into tons of tons of therapy and you know and having and thoughts if you know what i mean you know what i mean it's a s word i don't want to trigger youtube or anybody or whatever you guys know what i mean so when it gets to that point you need help at that point you need help you need to get as much help as you need change up your friends give your life to christ which is the main option and seek help you get what i'm saying seek help find jesus
If you have the good insecurity, good insecurity is basically, I know I'm good looking, but my body's not right. You get what I'm saying? I may not have, uh, I'm not, I don't like how my face looks or whatever, but I have a great personality. That is good insecurity. You know what I mean? Because you, you have things that you're, you know, you're not happy about in yourself, but you're fine with it. You can cope with it. It's fine, whatever. Bad insecurity is just like, oh, but I can't deal with it. I got to do something about it. And I got to go to the extreme levels to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we don't want to get. And that's the example the girl went because she let, I don't know. How, I, I think she loved this guy a lot because, bro. Gave me the accountability that I thought she didn't have. Yeah. So I'll give you that. Yeah. I'm sorry about yeah. what I said. I think what it really just speaks to, I think the big thing with this is that people feel so much pressure mm -hmm. to appeal to the opposite sex. And the lengths that care. they have to go through sometimes have superseded Just anything not we thought care, was ever possible. That's crazy. They go on, they spend in hundreds of thousands of dollars going yep. up in the knife, literally changing their whole face, yep. losing any cultural heritage they ever had before. Yep. Whatever your parents did, cutting that up. Yep. Okay? Looking like a whole different human being. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because you know, one thing that's really weird about all these is like they all start to look the same. Yes. So you look at their face and you're like, I don't know where you're from because your nose is from Siberia. But your booty from Angola. I don't and it's a weird combination. I don't know where you're from. Instagram. <laughs> Might as well. Could be for Atlantis for all I know. Because I don't know any place where everybody's got the same look other than Instagram. That's so, so true, bro. That's so true. To me, this is just sad. Like, yeah, she's talking about mental illness and how, like, you have to be so deeply sick. And not, like, in a split sense that you have BPD, but, like, there's something really sick in our society where folks have to go through this much change. And people are like, oh, I'm doing it for my... They're not most. They're not doing it for themselves. Where are you from? Montreal, Canada. Where are you from? Mobile, Alabama. Where are you from? Filters, Instagram. Th that's that's where she's from. Filters, Instagram. Folks, are and not that's where a lot of people were from. Folks are not doing it for themselves. They're doing it because there's a beauty standard and they're adhering to it. That's why folks are getting their ass done. Because I wasn't wasn't the beauty standard before. I ain't heard nobody trying to get their ass done twenty years ago. In the nineties, none. That, nobody. None. But they're doing it now because that's what's in. So all this talk about doing it, it's like, even if you're saying you're doing it for yourself, you know what? You're pretty much influenced, and the idea was given to you by society. So you can't separate the two. True. So we have to think about, like, what is the long-term implication going to be for these people who have these surgeries and get old life? What is it going to be like for them? I don't think we've really reckoned with that. What does a BBL yeah. look like in old age? It doesn't take long for it not to look good. It, it don't look, it, it, you don't need 40 years. No, no. To look like a bag of marbles, you don't you don't need a. It's not a lot. Yes. You know the yeah. life expectancy of a BBL is seven to ten years. Whew. Hey man. What? And uh, then gravity gravitates. You know. So to anybody who's watching right now, people, a lot of folks are considering it or want to get it done or want to look like a certain type of thing. Understand, oftentimes whatever pros that you have in the short term. Don't outweigh the cons that you have in the long term. And me personally, I don't know how you guys feel. Me personally, when I see those faces that are like perfectly symmetrical with the same nose and everybody, I don't find that appealing because it looks really weird to me. Even though I can understand why it's aesthetically pleasing and a lot of guys are going, for me, it just, there's no flavor. It's just, it's unfortunate. And everybody looked the same, no juice wall. And I even listen to juice wall. <laughs> Oh, these girls are saying that's crazy. That's crazy. That's so crazy. That is so crazy, bro. Oh, that's crazy. More than anything, watching this video is like, yeah, her situation seems sad. So that's what. And I'm I guess all these about. guys are saying because they all like the same thing. So big, big booty girls, big mangoes girls, they all the same. <laughs> they all the same, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I guess I'm the only rare breed out here. I don't like girls that have big, big Instagram type. Instagram type beat bodies. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like those at all, man. If you like that, good for you, man. It's good for you, bro. But that's not me, man. I'd rather take a literal cardboard box than take a girl that looks like an hourglass freaking boo like type beat. You know what I mean? I'm good, bro. Fat boo type beat. Nah, it's quiet. When I was glad she spoke about it candidly and when she said a bit of stuff about the end. And she just, was that yeah, I did it for a dude. That was candid? No, it wasn't candid. I, it's not my definition of candid. What's your definition of candid? Well, you know, all happiness and everything and stuff. It's like you know, it's a thing. It's not a thing. No, candid normally means like just straight up. That's the definition of candid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when they say candid camera, 
as their way of saying like a real reflection of what the person looks like taken informally so it's meant to be like yeah, a yeah, catching yeah, a candid yeah, moment yeah, of what's yeah. happening gotcha. so you're, you're not ready for the photo gotcha. kind of thing so but anyways um, you know yeah let us know what you guys think below what did you guys think about her story how did you guys feel and, and for ladies who are watching like yo do you guys feel pressure Jesus for this and fuck you have guys. you done it have you not do you regret it do you feel really happy about it she did or just be that. yourself man just be yourself literally just be yourself you know obviously everybody's not gonna be the different everybody's gonna have influences everybody's gonna you know leech off other people but for the most part be yourself bro like you don't have to do you don't have to do surgeries to enhance yourself or anything like that there's natural stuff you can do to enhance yourself you know, you know girls be doing makeup you know that's not it's not natural i don't, I don't know <laughs> but yeah i feel like the least amount of things to enhance yourself girls should do is just makeup that's it and sometimes makeup be looking kind of crazy bro like y'all be looking like a whole clown like a, literally a clown graduate like it's, it's so bad sometimes uh like sometimes naturals is always the way you feel me sometimes some girls really do need it like sometimes they y'all really do need it but and i'm not trying to get at y'all i'm not trying to get at y'all please don't try to get at me i'm not trying to get at y'all but i'm just saying that there's some girls that need it there's some girls that really don't need it at all they're just naturally beautiful whatever and they just do that and it makes them look ugly not ugly but not so attractive but yeah man that girl I feel bad for her man because in like five six years when she's like 30 years old 35 whatever if you're not locked in with a man i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you because your body no no, no man's gonna want that um unless like i said he has a fetish or he's a weirdo or something no man's gonna want that that's gonna be really sad for you and I, I pray that you know you find jesus and that he heals you from your brokenness and that severe insecurity that you have because you are loved you are very loved even though it may not seem like that most of your friends are you know probably promoting you to do that probably the atmosphere you're in are promoting this and promoting all oh, do surgery or whatever and things like that but in reality it's not gonna last you're not gonna be happy you're already not happy based off of that video um so jesus will give you a new heart and he will give you a purpose on your new life once you accept him anyway with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know that, that question that I asked, how you guys feel about your boyfriend or significant other. Liking girls' pictures or your boys' pictures, whatever. Is that a problem for y'all? Mm, is it not? Or it depends. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, shout out to Abba and Preach. If you guys haven't already, give your life to Jesus Christ because he's the most important thing in your life right now. If you don't know how to get saved, the video on how to get saved is in the description. I love all y'all. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are new. And yeah, love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.